if you read my vlog, you know that my year's goal this year was to pare down in both my stuff <laughs> surrounding me all the time and in my time. I posted an update at the end of January to show my first big project in my paring down process, which was my closet. So I have some footage about that. I really wanted to deal with my bathroom items and my kitchen items as well as finally take care of my empties and my makeup purge that I've been sort of collecting for the past couple months. I have two boxes of makeup to get rid of and so this first box is a lot of the makeup I bought quite a few years ago. I started getting into makeup I think about four or five years ago and I was watching a lot of YouTube and I bought a ton of stuff but of course some of it I didn't really like. And of course, a lot of the items I bought and really liked back then are just expired now, even though I really liked them. I just couldn't finish them up because I bought so much freaking makeup. So this first box is just all that expired makeup or stuff I just didn't really like. So let's dive into this one. All this makeup is stuff that I've had forever. And some of it is stuff that I'm just ready to get rid of. So let me just start with the stuff that I didn't like. This Airspun loose face powder is like one of the drugstore classics uh, that everyone seems to have. I just found that it has a really strong fragrance and it made my skin break out. So I have to get rid of this unfortunately, it just didn't work for me. Next I have this e.l.f. mattifying cream foundation. This looked just horrible on my skin, I hated it. I also have this e.l.f. maximum coverage concealer. It wasn't really like horrible, I just didn't really like it that much and I also found that it was starting to separate so it was just time to get rid of it, it was kind of getting gross. I also got this Revlon little like cream shadow quad and I really only got it because of nostalgia. Um, I had one of these when I was a teenager and for some reason I saw it on sale at the store and I was like I need to get one of these. Um, but I just don't really like these. They don't stay that long on my eyes. They creased. The colors aren't that strong and bright on my eyes so I'm just gonna get rid of it. I have a couple more e.l.f. products that I'm getting rid of just because they got old. So first I have this golden bronzer and it started to kind of get these weird bumps on it which I think is normal for powder products but it was just getting to be so much that I couldn't scoop up a lot of product anymore. Also I tend to not use shimmery bronzers so this one just ended up not working out for me. Next I have a couple of NYX blushes. Um, and again these were fine, they didn't have any problems with them. I just found that I was reaching for other products more often and so it's just time to get rid of these. Oh, and I have one more blush here. Um, these were all in the shades, oh dang it. These were in the shades Pink Passion, Mellow Mauve, and oh, I can't get the shade on this one. This one is like a really famous one of theirs though, it's like a coral color. What else, what else? I have this Stila red carpet eyeshadow palette. I had this thing for years and years and years. I just don't use it that much. I have a ton of other palettes, so I'm just getting rid of this little palette. I also have this Sexy Mama powder from The Balm. I just don't use it that much and it was starting to get old. I've had it for a long time, so it's just time to get rid of this one too. These Garnier BB creams I really did like for a while. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with them necessarily. I just didn't use them up in time and I think I've had these since like 2013. So yeah, it's time for these to go in the trash. Uh, I got this Wet n Wild cream eyeliner just to try out another cream eyeliner option and I didn't really like it. It was smudging quite a bit and I just never really used it past the first couple times. I have a lot of lip products in here but they basically just got old so I got these Willa lip balms from Target. I think they were getting rid of this brand and so they were really cheap and so I bought a couple and I just didn't use them up that quickly. They're a teeny bit sticky compared to other lip balms I have but I really did like them a lot. I just have had them for too long. I also have a bunch of like lip gloss or lip balm type products. I just don't really wear lip gloss that often and I just had these for so long I just needed to clear the space basically. 
So let's just get rid of all of these. Uh, oh, crochet hook. I have a couple face primers in here. Um, this Too Faced Primed and Poreless was just a little sample I got in a set. I liked it a lot, but I just did not use it up fast enough, and it's pretty gross and old. And same with this face primer by Your Best Friend. I don't know, I don't remember where I got this sample exactly. I think I might have gotten this in the giveaway I, where I got the mascara from my empties. Uh, and I just didn't use it fast enough, but it was fine. Oh, and I have an Hourglass primer. Um, this is their Veil Mineral Primer. Um, and yeah, I just don't use primer that much. I have a few more eyeliners. Um, this Wet n Wild Mega Liner is like one of those liquid eyeliners with a brush in it, and it's horrible. It like flakes off and just does not last long at all. Um, this Jordana Fabu Liner, I had the same issue. It would just flake off or fade off during the day. Um, the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Defining Marker Eyeliner, same issue. I just don't really like it. And the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner just got old. I just wasn't using it enough, and it was just time to get rid of it. We're almost through this. I have this NARS like glitter pencil thing. I ended up breaking the cap because I closed it too aggressively one time. This is basically just a glitter that you put on your eyes, like under or over your eyeshadow, and I think I got this years ago, like back in high school. I have a mascara in here. This is the Falsies Push-Up Drama by Maybelline. I bought this right when it came out. It was fine, it just wasn't great, and I wasn't really using it. I have this random Clinique um, cream blush stick, and I liked this, but the color is really light, and so it didn't really show up on my face that well. And I don't really use cream blush that often anyway. And the most sad, depressing thing I'm getting rid of is this Tarte lip paint. This one's in the shade FOMO. I got this because it was a Sephora VIB Rouge exclusive. Um, so you can see what the color used to like in my VM Rouge exclusive video. Um, this turned like brown and green and is oily. It's like making a total mess in this box. I have no clue what happened to this product. I did not leave it in the sun. I don't think it got too overheated, but it just got disgusting and I've barely had this for that long. It's definitely been under a year and it's already just, just completely gross, so... Definitely turning my opinion on the Tarte lip paints a little bit. This second box has a bunch of stuff that I wasn't quite ready to get rid of when I was doing this whole purge. I was basically just pulling out a bunch of makeup items and I thought it would be really straightforward, but then there was just all this stuff that I, I just wasn't quite ready to just get rid of right away. So I thought I would keep them separately and then just keep reaching for things as I needed to. But honestly, since I put all these in boxes, I guess back in January, I haven't really touched anything from this box, so that's making me think that I don't really need it. And so, I think it's time to say goodbye to all the stuff in box number two. I think I'm just gonna start by sorting some of this. Um, I have a couple little eyeshadow palettes that I just don't use that much. I think I'm just gonna get rid of these even though they're really pretty. I also have more like highlighting and bronzing powders. Like, I just have a ton of these. And again, I just don't really use these enough, so I'm just not going to keep them anymore. I got this Bobbi Brown palette as like a Sephora 500 point gift, so I was holding on to this just because I spent points on it, which, you know, if you go to Sephora a lot, you know that those points are kind of hard to come by because, you know, you have to spend $500 to get 500 points. And I just didn't like this at all. The eyeshadows were really kind of transparent, like they weren't really opaque. And the blush was fine, but it's just kind of small and awkward to get to with, it, with a blush brush. So, unfortunately, I have to let go of this. Um, this e.l.f. highlighter is super pretty in theory, but I could never make it look the way I wanted it to on my cheeks, which was really sad. The Revlon Nearly Naked powder is actually really nice. Um, I just did not use this very quickly and it just got really old. I have a few foundation type things that again, I just like wasn't using fast enough. Um, and I actually liked all these products. I have the Lumine Time Freeze CC Anti-Age Color Correcting Cream. This one has a bit of a fragrance to it, so I wasn't crazy about it, which is why I didn't use it up very quickly. I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. This one is really great, but kind of drying, so I would avoid this if you have dry skin, but it is pretty good. I have a Revlon Color Stay Foundation. 
I would have probably used more of this if it had a pump. So I think if I ever repurchase this foundation, I'm gonna get a pump. And the Clinique BB Cream, I had this for literally five years. Um, so it was just time to get rid of this. I have a Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is just a little sample guy and I don't think I finished it. Uh, but I just didn't use it quick enough and I feel like it started to smell different or just something about it I was just ready to throw it out now I have all these awesome eye and lip products in here and basically it just came to me not using them up and I have to reluctantly let them go so I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff um, I have this benefit erase paste totally fine concealer the only thing is it kind of comes off a little shiny which I don't love but I just didn't use it up fast enough same with these cream eyeshadows. I have a ton of these Maybelline color tattoos and I just, I never liked this shade too cool. It's the white one. It just was kind of chunky and weird. And then the uh, toughest taupe shade just dried out. So you might be able to see it's like starting to separate from the outside. And honestly, I'm sure I have more of these color tattoos that need to be thrown out, but I'm just refusing to even look because I don't want to know the truth. I have a ton of these eyeshadow sticks in here. Um, yeah, so I have four eyeshadow sticks. I liked all of these. I just, again, didn't use them quickly enough, and they're starting to kind of dry out and get gross. So if I ever feel like I'm using eyeshadow sticks a lot, I would totally look at these brands again. I got two from NYX, one from Sephora, which is waterproof, and then one from Milani. Oh, and I have one of those from Wet n Wild. This one's really pretty. It's like an iridescent purple and blue, but I just don't use it that much, so why keep it? I also have a ton of mascaras that I just did not use up quickly enough because I was using too many mascaras at once. Um, again, I love the Maybelline the Falsies mascara. It's the same review as my empties. This one's just the waterproof version um, And I really did like this a lot I don't feel like this was like really horrible on my eyelashes to get off, which is fantastic. I like this Josie Marin um, Mascara, but I didn't love it So I just didn't really feel excited to use it all same with this it cosmetics hello lashes. It's a fine mascara It just didn't wow me the CoverGirl um, Lash Blast Volume Mascara is a classic. I really like it a lot, but, well, I don't really love it anymore now that I found a bunch of other mascaras I love. This Too Faced Better Than False Lashes set, I think I did a video review of, um, so you can check that review out for that review. Then I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. I like this one quite a bit. Um, I just didn't use it that much because it's kind of hard to get off, so it became a pain to wear every day. So I just didn't use it up. I found one more color tattoo. This one's in Badge of the Bronze, and I think this is the one that dried out the most. Yeah, it's like pretty gross, but I really like these color tattoos. I have a sample of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Um, this one is fine. I just don't use brow gel that often, so I just didn't use it up. I got this Stila like, tie-dye looking eyeshadow. Um, I think at Nordstrom Rack a long time ago. It's really pretty in theory. It actually makes a nice pretty color when you mix them all together. Plus you can kind of like use some of the colors separately. I just didn't reach for this that often and I have a ton of other eyeshadow so I need to just get rid of it. Everything else in here is lip products so let's see. I have a baby lips that I bought and just didn't really use that much. I have another one of those Ulta lip butters. I think I pulled another one of these in the first box. Um, and I just don't really like them enough. First I have this uh, L'Oreal Color Riche Balm in Heavenly Berry. I like these balms a lot, but I kept the nude one because I wear that one a lot more than I wear this one. So I'm just gonna get rid of it because I have a lot of lip balms and I just don't need it. Same with this e.l.f. tinted lip balm. Uh, the color is really nice. I just didn't really wear it a lot and I felt like it didn't actually moisturize my lips very well I also have a Maybelline color whisper. I have quite a few of these. This one's in push-up peach I just don't think this color is that flattering on me So I reluctantly put it aside and I never reached for it. So I think that means it's time to go I also have a couple of Revlon lip butters. This one's in sugar plum. This is like one of the deeper shades It's like a purplish shade and I just don't wear it that often, so I don't need it. And I have the shade Berry Smoothie. Oh my gosh, I can't hold these. And I have the shade Berry Smoothie, which is kind of like a shimmery shade, and I don't really like shimmery lip balms. Uh, I just didn't know it was shimmery when I bought it, so 
I didn't wear it and so now I'm getting rid of it. I have a couple of these Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. I bought a ton of these because I saw a few videos about them on YouTube back when they came out in like 2012 or 13. Um, so I bought a bunch of these and these two shades, oh three shades, were just the oldest ones and I've had them for a long time and I just don't really wear them anymore but you can tell I got quite a bit of use out of them because they're sort of all blunted now, they're not as pointy as they used to be. I have a couple of random lip glosses that I kept around and I don't really wear lip gloss so I think I just need to get rid of them. I also have this double-ended lipstick lip gloss thing. I got this from like I think a birch box that my mom got um, and I think one time they actually sent her two and so she gave one to me. Um, I liked the lipstick a lot. Um, it's a little bit shimmery which I don't like shimmery lipsticks. So I didn't wear it that much, but I liked the color and I just never touched the lip gloss because I literally never wear lip gloss. Um, and this is kind of a big chunky thing to take space in my drawer for something that like I kind of like on one side of it. This Maybelline um, Superstay 24 hour color lipstick duo thing um, I got from Influencer. I made a video about these um, and you know I just did not like this color at all. It's shiny and frosty and just doesn't flatter me. It's very hard to let go of this one, but this is a NARS lip pencil, and I think this came in one of the Sephora birthday sets in the past couple years. This color is like a little bit frosty, and I just don't wear it that much, so I think I'm just going to get rid of it. I have three Revlon lipsticks. Um, one of them is in Lover's Coral, one of them is in Temptress, and the other one is in Berry Couture. And I just don't wear these anymore. Um, the two of these are the Shine formula, which I think are like purposefully sheer. And I guess I didn't really know that when I bought them. Um, and I just don't really like the look of sheer lipsticks. I wore this one probably the most out of these three, uh, but I just don't really wear them enough anymore. And then this shade Temptress, I think I wore it once and realized that this kind of pink I just don't really like on me. I also have this teeny, teeny, tiny lipstick uh, from Clinique I got in like some sort of free set they had. It's a nice purple, it's really pretty. I think it's just because it was so small, it would get hidden in my makeup drawer and I just wouldn't wear it. Although what's cool about this is it has a little like keychain hole so you could like keep it on your keys so you never forget your lipstick. Uh, but I obviously didn't do that because I kept losing it. Now this is a lip pencil I think I got in a giveaway. Um, it's a lip crayon in the shade Hot Damn, um, and it's really pretty. I just have a ton of red lipsticks and lip balms and all kinds of things, and so I just never really wore this, and I kept thinking I would, and I just don't, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. So far, I'm really happy with how all of this decluttering has been going. Now, I'm not at all done with all the places that I've described. I really just wanted to start with getting rid of everything that was obvious to get rid of. And over the year, I'll be thinking a lot about what I have still after that purge and just thinking about what I might still need. Unfortunately, I found that a lot of decluttering is actually just making lists of things you need to buy, which sounds really counterintuitive, but it actually kind of makes sense. The idea of getting rid of a bunch of stuff at once for me is just really taking a look at what you have and just getting rid of the stuff that you don't actually love. So for example, with my closet, I got rid of a lot of clothes that either don't fit me well, uh, have holes in them, or things that I've been wanting to mend but just haven't gotten around to it and stuff that I just don't feel gravitated towards when I'm getting dressed in the morning. Now that I've gotten rid of pretty much all of the clothes that fit any of those categories, I feel like I really love everything that's in my closet, but I'm also noticing a lot of gaps I have in my closet, and I feel like I was sort of using a lot of the clothes that I was keeping around for no reason as like a way to pretend I like didn't need to keep shopping just because I had the excuse of my closet's really full. So now that I got rid of a lot of my clothes, I'm starting to make a list of things that I feel like I still kind of need in my closet. Now the same kind of goes with makeup, but I have so much makeup still that I don't think I'm going to need to buy that much more. For makeup, I feel like a lot of companies come out with a lot of spring and summer launches, so I feel like I'll be trying out a lot of new stuff that comes out, but I can't really think of anything that I desperately need. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like decluttering videos and you want to see more videos like this from me. I'd be glad to do more of these. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're looking for me, you can find me at any of the social media handles you'll see on the end screen or down below in the info box. Or as always, you can find me at brokeforbeauty.com. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.